So welcome everyone. Um, I'm pleased to welcome our speaker today. Kai Lai is the technical di director of the MBSC business of Huawei. He has a rich experience in engineering design and product processes in many fields, such as automotive, aerospace, radar, and so on and so forth. And today, Kai will present the Glaway solution for model simulation and analysis in Capella. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Kai from Nanjing Glaway. I'm very happy to share with you the progress and user cases that our company has made on Capella add-on through this webinar. This webinar consists of five parts, namely company introduction, customer needs and tool gap analysis, introduction to simulation features, case demonstration, and Q&A. The first part is the company introduction. Glavi was established in 2010 and started to develop MBSE business in 2015. <clears throat> As you can see on the map, the company is headquartered in Nanjing and has branches in Beijing, Shanghai, and Xi'an. Up to now, the company has more than 640 employees, which more than 85% are technical team members. We provide end-to-end -end solutions in the field of R&D, production, manufacturing, and after-sales service for manufacturing enterprises. Client industries we serve include aviation, aerospace, shipbuilding, electronics, weapon, and automotive. The company has put a lot of effort into MBSE business consulting and Capella 2 development. By now, we have done add-ons in six areas. The first item is requirement engineering. It supports the modeling and graphing of requirements supports the establishment of the relationship between requirements and architecture models, support generating relation map diagram and dependency matrix. The second item is the document generation add-on. It supports to generate documents in Word format or Excel format required by customers according to the model. The third item is the definition of cable information. It mainly allows designer to define physical attributes in the physical connection lines in the PAB diagram, such as cable length, type, wire connection, and so on. The fourth item is the definition of ICD and protocol. It mainly supports defining signals and messages on component exchanges in LAB. The fifth item is reliability analysis. It mainly supports the definition of reliability analysis and testability analysis. Related elements on the model, such as failure mode, failure probability, test items, test points, and so on. The sixth item is model simulation and analysis. It mainly supports dynamic simulation of diagrams such as activity diagrams, state machines, and parametric diagrams. This is also the theme of our webinar today. Through a large number of engineering practice in China, we found that customers not only pay attention to how the object product can be molded more quickly and reasonably, but also to the correctness of the model it itself. So, in the second part, I will describe the user needs and two gaps we found. Generally speaking, customer will create many design models, such as the SOS model based on the STK platform, the architecture model based on the Capilla platform, 
the algorithm model based on the MATLAB platform, the parameter calculation formulas that exist in Excel. They are poorly coupled, so customers need to use these models separately in each platform. Data transfer and simulation analysis among multiple models are difficult. Based on this situation, the customer engineers want to have an integrated R&D platform. It should be able to effectively utilize existing design results to verify logical correctness and parameter rationally. So, we considered developing a Capilla add-on to implement the engineer's idea. It should be based on the architectural model and be able to effectively utilize other model data. I will an analyze the gaps in the tools to achieve the above user needs. We propose five gaps. The first gap, poor logical readability and predictability. When the state machine is large or complex, the user expectations are as follows. State should be predictable. The execution process should be visible. Code simulation should be supported. Compared with the textual description, the graphical language is more standardized and easier to read. But when the model is large or complex, it is still difficult for engineers to understand where the next state will be. Therefore, we need a dynamic solution, uh, simulation and real-time animation display capabilities. In order for users to directly read the whole process of state transition from the diagram referring to the state machine specification in SysMail, we assign dynamic execution rules and animation display rules to the elements in the Capilla state machine so that they can be simulated, operated, and read. The second gap. The functional design method is not rich enough. The readability is not strong, and it cannot be simulated. The expectations are should provide user with a new way of designing and communicating. Follow a flow should be predictable. The execution process should be visible. Many engineers believe that, in some scenarios, activity diagrams are more readable and easier to learn and use than SDFB, LDFB, PDFB diagrams, and ES diagrams. In addition, the activity diagram based on SysMail rules is also very easy to run the simulate, which further enhances its usability and readability. So we decide to develop activity diagrams based on SysMail rules. ES, XDFB, and activity diagram will share function as a basic element. Gap 3. User needs a mean of model-based parameter calculation and trade-off analysis. The user expectations are as follows. A more readable parameter relation, computable, support for trade-off analysis. Parameter value transfer among components and trade-off analysis are two very important issues. We think the SysMail-based Parametric diagram and its specification are the optimal solution. As can be seen from the figure, our parametric diagram looks somewhat different from the style of the parametric diagram in SysMail, but the design principles are the same. Gap 4. User need multi-tool consumulation to improve design efficiency. The user expectations are as follows. Capilla can be integrated with simulation software such as MATLAB and SDK. 
realize SOS level scenario simulation, verify design algorithms. As we just mentioned, customers already have a lot of design results, such as SDK models and MATLAB algorithms. But this is often the result of experience with other products, and its availability and in, in new products is unknown. We need some means of quickly combining these valuable old models and verifying their usability through simulation. Therefore, we developed the interface between Capilla and the software, uh, and other software, such as a MATLAB and STK to achieve this purpose. In the future, we will develop more general interfaces for the tools and standards, so as to realize the reuse and the verification of more design results. Get file. User need a simulation control panel for better control of simulation or observation of simulation data. The user expectations are user can control the simulation process. User can easy ob easily obtain simulation data. We believe that readability, controllability, and data recordability of the model simulation process are very important. Based on the above design concept, we need to develop a simulation interface for the customer. In the interface, the user can control the start and the pause of the simulation, adjust the speed of the simulation, input the signal during the simulation, modify the simulation parameter value, read the value change curve, and so on, which really improves the usability of the simulation. <coughs> In the third part, I will introduce the simulation panel state machine, activity diagram, parametric diagram in detail. First, let me introduce the simulation panel. For simulation in different scope, such as the entire mode, a single mode, and a single diagram, we provide three simulation portals. They are global simulation, which can make all models at this level start to simulate. Two, current view simulation, which can make the current view perform simulation. Three, single component simulation, which can make the dynamic view under the component start simulation. The simulation control panel is shown in the figure. The simulation panel is mainly composed of seven parts. The first part is the start and pause control buttons. It has four functions, start, cancel, pause, resume, and cancel the simulation. The second is the simulation speed control button. The user can adjust the speed of the simulation execution by dragging. The third is the send signal control button. The user can send a signal to the component by selection. The fourth is the parameter list. In the parameter list, user can see or modify all the parameters involved in this simulation in real time. The fifth part is the watch window. Because too many parameters are listed in the parameter list, which is inconvenient for observation and operation. Therefore, we support selecting parameters in the parameter list by checking them to add them to the watch window. Parameters in the watch window also support being modified the sixth part is the parameter value observation curve. If we check the generate observation curve option after the simulation starts, 
the change of the parameter value in the parameter observation window will be displayed in the form of a curve. The seventh part is the signal interaction history. For the signal interaction history window, <coughs> the user can see all the signals sending and receiving records during the simulation process. In chapter 3.2, I will cover the simulation of state machine, activity diagram, and the parametric diagrams. Regarding the state machine, we have achieved the following capabilities. We support nested states. As shown, we call the state A the parent state and the state B the child state. In this case, both state A and B are executing. Second, we support the state transition and execute at the same level. As shown in the figure, state B and state C are in the same level. Third, we support orthogonal state, also called parallel state. It supports a number of regions in one state. Each region is regarded as an independent area, and the state in different regions can be executed independently. Fourth, we support the direct transition between different levels. When the state transition across the level, we can ignore the restriction of the starting point in the state. As shown in the figure, it can transit directly from state G to state C instead of state B. There is a set of very complicated execution sequence rules, but they are in line with SysML state machine specification. If you are interested, you can refer to SysML. I just introduced the overall execution rules of the state machine. Below, I will introduce the simulation rules and abilities inside the state. State supports three behaviors. They are entry, do, exit. Each behavior supports signal event. Support the execution of MATLAB code. Support for calls to other model state machine or activity diagram. After talking about the rule of states, I want to talk about the rules of the transition line. Transition supports three properties. It supports guard. It supports trigger, including time event, signal event, and change event. It supports effect, including ex executing calls or sending triggers. Below, I will show you the simulation ability of the state machine through a video. On the left is the simulation interface. The middle is a state machine, and on the right is the activity diagram. The video shows the simulation rules and animation effects of the state machine. In addition, in state two, it calls the activity diagram. Here I want to show you the ability to call the activity diagram in do behavior and interrupt at any time. In order to observe, I slow down the simulation speed before the simulation starts. Then start simulation. We can see the simulation start to execute the call and call the activity diagram. Because the activity diagram does not have a terminal node, it is constantly being executed. And when I modify the simulation parameters through the parameter list to, the, to trigger the change event A equals to 6, 
the activity chart is interrupted and the state machine executes the exit behavior and the transition to the new state. After that, I triggered a series of state transition by changing the value of A. As a newly added diagram, the activity chart will share function and the functional exchange with XAB. As shown in the figure, the activity in activity diagram comes from LAB in the upper right. Activity diagram supports the following elements. It supports guard. It supports decision and merge. Support send signal and receive signal, support fork and join, support time event. This video shows the simulation ability of the activity diagram. After the simulation starts, the execution of the activity diagram is triggered by manually selected signals. Then, Capilla calculate the value of job and it will choose the way. Then, start the next cycle. The last part is a parametric diagram. In the parametric diagram, we have three basic types of elements. They are parameter values, binding connectors, and constraints. We can connect parameter and variables in constraints through binding connectors. When executed, Capilla evaluates the formulas in the constraints and assign output value to the corresponding parameters. The parametric diagram can participate in dynamic simulation. When performing a dynamic simulation, the parameter value change synchronously according to the calculation results of the relevant constraint formulas. <clears throat> On this space, we have also developed trade-off table so that user can conveniently perform trade-off analysis. As shown in the video, uh, this is constraint, and this is the parameter value, and this is a binding connector. The name displayed on the binding connector represents a variable name binding with a parameter. Let me introduce the usage of the trade-off table. First of all, we can choose the parameter that need to displayed in the table, including input parameters and output parameters. Like here. We also provide options for computing view selection. In the option, designer can choose to participate in the parameter diagram of the computation. We can increase the calculation instance through the plus button at the top left. Examples participating in the calculation will be displayed in the table. We can give multiple sets of input values and the, from can, uh, and the form can automatically calculate the output values through the computing relationship behind it. In addition, the parameter value can be associated with MOE. In this case, we hope that the total quantity is less than five kilogram, and the total pre price is less than uh, 3, uh, 305. The parameter value that 
does not match the con constraint will be marked with red for user to distinguish after calculation. As we can see, Chapter four introduces some specified cases of the above simulation features in practical applications. But in practical work, the most asked question is what can we do with these dynamic capabilities? How can they help us? I will introduce three small cases to illustrate how our solution meets different user needs. We all know that photovoltaic modules can cover a solar energy into electricity. However, the dust on the surface of photovoltaic modules, modules will seriously affect its power generation efficiency. To solve this problem, our client need to design an unmined cleaning board. But in sparsely populated areas, the energy management of robots is a problem. The current status is as follows. Each robot will also carry a small solar panel, which simultaneously charge the battery as the robot cleans the PV modules. A robot maintains a large area of solar panels, so cleaning can take hours at a time because of the strong wind in the desert area, and because of concerns about the robot falling. We hope that the robot will turn to a fixed position after cleaning. But the fixed position cannot be charged. Clients need to face two questions. First, in order to keep the battery in a healthy state at all time, it means that the time when battery level below 20% or above 95% should be avoided. What should the charging power of the robot be designed to be? How will, uh, uh, the, the question two, how will it deal with three rainy weather? Let's see how we do it. In order to solve the problems, about problems, we described the basic behavior of a system through a state machine, including user, robot, and son. In order to simplify things for easier understanding, this explanation only covers two objects, the son and the robot because it is the earliest stage of the design. We need to clarify the parameters and the strategies of the product level so that the state machine is built for the product level. The logic of each state machine is shown in the diagram above. The robot is composed of energy supply components responsible for charging and monitoring power, and the motion components that consume energy. The sun is described as a curve of radiant intensity that varies according to time and weather. It can be found that we have integrated the problems that need to be solved into the state machine such as charging power, light intensity, battery management strategy, and so on. By simulating different scenarios and parameters, we can determine better combination of parameters and control logic. First, we simulate the state when there is sufficient light. It can be seen that robot can maintain the power in a healthy state. Means 
uh, more than 20% and less than 95%. Now we have the light intensity that is from 10 to 5 of the intensity. We can see that according to the current strategy, the power of the robot is decreasing every day. And when the third day comes, the robot triggers the charging protection. Robots are forced to stay outdoors to charge after work is done and can charge back to a healthy value for the day. Of course, the strategy will result in the robot being exposed to the outdoors for a long time, increasing the chances of being dropped by wind or other accidents. This will acquire the introduction of human maintenance strategies, but that is another issue that needs to be addressed. Outside the scope of today's communication, after the video demonstration, we can draw two conclusions. First, under the current design power of the whole machine, the rated charging power of the machine should be greater than 138.3 watt, 137.3 watt. When the battery of the device is too low due to continuous rainy weather, the robot can work continuously for two days and will start the forced charging mode on the third day. In the second case, the user needs to upgrade the mechanical handle to an electronic handle because new controllers or new control logic need to be added. User needs to verify the correctness of functions and signals before writing a detailed implementation spec. For the implementation spec is not logically feasible the supplier will waste a lot of time in the modification and the testing. After building the LAB, we use the state machine to describe the detailed logical relationship of key functions and their function exchanges. The benefits are as follows. It's more readable. Most of the processing logic and the signal definition have been verified. Shorten the communication and the development cycle. The video will explain how we verified. We use the numerical form to present the state or signal here. Here, we use four parameters namely position signal, it means equals to one means in range, number equals to two means out of range, and for T1 means deployed time. For position, one means retracted, and two means deployed. For speed, means the speed of vehicle. The position signal T1 and speed can be regarded as inputs. Position is regarded as a desired behavior. I listed six correspondence between input and the desired result. If these input combinations are assigned to the state machine, the state machine's output state is the same as the expected value. Then it can be said that our definition of function exchange and the function operation logic is correct. As in the animation, my first expectation is for the door handle to pop out when approaching the vehicle. 
translating into a language that the state machine can recognize is that I change the position signal from two to one. It means that I went from outside the range uh, into the inside. After the state machine goes uh, through a series of transition and logic processing, the dog handle will be popped up and the, we can see that now the handle position has changed from one to two, which means it has been successfully popped. I listed a total of six scenarios and I will briefly introduce the next file. By modifying the parameter values, I have logically simulated different inputs and caused state machine transitions and parameter changes. I do this by checking if the changes are what we expected so we can verify the correctness of the functional architecture. The reader, the third case is, is about reader. The reader has various models such as research, confirm, and track. At present, customers have STK model, MATLAB algorithm model, and architecture model. We want to integrate and verify the rationality of the reader's working mode and the ability of the algorithm under the condition that the view can be seen. The expectation is that objects flying from a distance can be correctly tracked by the algorithm and trigger the three models of the reader. The case, the case simulate the working mode. The case simulates the working mode changing process of the reader, and its working modes including researching, confirmation, and tracking. We use STK for sense building, MATLAB for algorithm processing, and CMAX for logic executing. CMAX means the capilla add-on. This is how the model works. Inside the model, we build to realize these principles. The model possesses the target data sent by STK and switches to different working modes according to the processing results from MATLAB and then further process the, the data until the desired results are obtained. As shown in the figure, the STK mode is on the left, and the green is the radar bin. The white dot is the target here, and it's flying west. We expect our algorithm and logic models to correctly recognize it. Simulation starts since the activity diagram and the LAB shear functions. The running order of the functions in the activity diagram can be displayed in the LAB synchronously. This makes a lot of sense for us to see which algorithm is being executed. During the simulation, we opened two new windows. One is the job value observation curve, which records the switching sequence of the working mode. The other is the target recognition graph, on which you can see the dot trees of the target processed by the algorithm. Through simulation, we can conclude that this set of control algorithm can correctly track and confirm the target 
when the target size and the flight speed are expected and can trigger the correct execution logic. This part is the conclusion part. At the beginning, I introduced the capabilities of our Capilla add-on for simulation and parametric analysis. Then, I gave three cases based on our add-on to solve user problems. If you are interested, please contact us at the end of the slide. I will provide our company email. What's more, our add-on is commercial software. If you are interested, we have a trial version available. Thanks, everyone. That's all for this slide. Next is the Q&A session, and I will show you the email of our company. Kai, can you hear me well? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, nice. So we can we can go for uh, the questions. Let me present you the first one. So um, from Pascal Rock, what are the pros and cons compared to a native sizable tool like Cameo System Modeler with uh, the simulation toolkit? Okay. Uh, I have been using CSM, I mean Cameo System Modeler, for a long time. So as far as my understanding, um, compared with CSM, our add-on allows uh, Kepler to have the same ease of use and new simulation capabilities and better integration with other tools. Therefore, I think we have an advantage in terms of ease of use and uh, the satisfaction of the needs of our users. I mean, all the tools should face to the customers what they need to provide a, a better uh, usability and uh, uh, integration. Yes. Okay, thanks for that. Um, next question, Pascal again, but well, <laughs> I'm starting with uh, most <laughs> Averted. Uh, so, what are the uh, pro and cons compared to the DSS add-on from PGM? Okay. Uh, uh, first, I want to say uh, I have attended the, the last uh, webinar from PGM, and uh, I'm not sure I know all the new the features of PGM. But as far as I know, uh, compared with PGM's add-on. I think our uh, improve, improvement has several aspects, such as uh, we added activity diagrams, uh, we have uh, added a parameter diagram, and we add the trade-off analysis table. Um, we improved the uh, simulation capabilities of state machine, uh, such as we have interrupts, uh, complex nesting, and core activity diagrams capabilities and we can code simulation with uh, activity diagrams, parameter diagrams and uh, uh, state machine and with other tools together. And we have a control panel. This is uh, the uh, for the simulation part. And for other parts, I didn't uh, introduce uh, to you today. Uh, I have, we have also like a uh, reliability test uh, as uh, on, uh, this is uh, all I know. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, next one. So, great development. Uh, have you considered or implemented uh, the notion of should be able to state machine? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, please give me some time. Okay. Um, it's a it's a good question, but also a complex question. Uh, we thought about it. My, my, my answer is we thought about it, but uh, it would make the hierarchy complicated and difficult to maintain. So we did it, didn't do it. 
Okay, do, does it mean that uh, it's yeah. planned for the future or you renounced to, to implement that? I think we won't do that. Okay, thanks for yeah. the precision. Um, next one. Is it possible to st simulate textual requirements? Uh, yes, I, I uh, because I have using magic draw, so I think magic draw have already uh, implemented something uh, similar. But uh, I, uh, but I think that uh, it is too demanding on how the requirements are written. So the actual value of the customer is not that much. So we haven't done that so far, but we maybe do that in the future. Okay, next one. Um, Capella supports the Arcadian method, uh, which is also language, um, and mm -hmm. you're an introducing size ML modeling language. So is there a need to learn both Arcadia and size ML languages? Plus your tool. <laughs> um, yes, uh, as far as I know, uh, uh, the, the language in Capilla is 80% uh, as SysMail. But uh, in, in some uh, sometimes they are different, like uh, Capilla didn't have uh, activity diagram. But uh, from our user needs, they want the activity diagram and I have introduced the benefits. So I think we should add some SysMail language in it. And it is easily for Capilla user to learn. And it, it, it is uh, better to uh, build up a standardization language in the future, maybe uh, uh, integration of Capilla language and the SysMail. So I think it won't, uh, it, it won't cost, cost a lot of effort to learn it and bring a lot of benefits. Okay. Um, next one. It's time, so if you have questions, feel free to, feel free to ask. Um, what kind of permit do you available to transform this ticket? Okay. Uh, we, uh, we can get the echo data from STK. I mean, the uh, moving speed, the, the form, the shape, and the size of the uh, object from STK? Um, well, uh, we have been really happy for having you during this webinar. It was a pleasure to share this moment. So uh, it's time for us to, to really close. Have a good day and goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good day.